This is Man Tracker. More than a cowboy, he's a seasoned hunter and expert in outdoor forensics. He's trained to track people down. To do it, he has to get inside their heads. His specialty, understanding the animalistic side of human behavior. A pair of coyotes went in here somewhere. Kind of like following a pair of baby moose. They're chasing a pair of mice through this stuff. Man Tracker will need to work hard to decipher the unique dynamic of Barb and Max. The first parent-child team ever to take him on. They might get along great. They might hate each other. I have no idea what they're going to throw at me. Being chased through the wilderness is a challenge for body and mind. And for Max and Barb, a test of their relationship. My mother is my closest friend. The only thing is, I don't have a lot of patience for her. Get out of here! I think Max and I are really similar. That's probably why we don't really get along that well. Barb is an artist who lets loose on the field of competition. Come on, Mom! Look at all out there! I'm in better shape now than I was when I was 20 or 30 after having the kids and running around. I want to defy the number thing, the age thing. I like to show people that they can do it too. It's not about how old you are. Max works security and likes to express himself in the gym. I worked in the nightclub for several years. I'm used to running into danger, not running away from danger. So it's actually going to be difficult for me to pretend like I'm scared. I don't care if he knows where I am. I mean, I'm not afraid of him. I hate him. Man Tracker has his hands full with this mama and cub and some wild Caribou County, B.C. terrain. So he's recruited local ranchman Martin Dillabow to guide him around the hazards of the area. We got cougar, grizzly, black bear, wolves. They don't keep their heads up. They could bump into a black bear or a grizzly bear. Neither one of them you want to tangle with. He knows the country really, really well. Before we get close to getting into any kind of a wreck, he's going to know what's up there, how to get around it. It's just going to be a huge confidence booster for me because I don't have to worry about the guy behind me. Martin's got the Quinell area on lock, and that's crucial since Man Tracker has no idea where the finish is or how the prey will get there. Max and Barb are the only ones with the map and the finish coordinates. You got your compass, Max? Um, In case we get split up. Compass? Yeah, it's hanging on the bag there. Shake and bake. Come on. <laughs> with your fist. I don't know how to do with your that. fist. Prey and predator are separated by two kilometers. Shake and Shake bake. Shake and 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 bake. Shake. But with fires blazing nearby, a fire ban puts a wrench in the tracker's investigation. No flare gun this time out. A rifle blast will mark the start of the chase. The cowboys stay sharp and listen well. Though for Max, there's no such thing as stealth. Man tracker! Whoa! Come on, Max. The chase is on. Thanks to their head start, Max and Barb have the jump. But 34 kilometers of gnarly bush stands in their way. They'll have until sundown tomorrow to avoid capture and reach their destination. Two getaway horses await their arrival. From minute one, Max wastes no time, confusing recklessness for strategy. Whole day, I'm gonna hit trees, and then on the second day, I won't. I just try and ignore him, blank him out, but uh, hopefully he's, oh, maybe he'll just get lost. That shot could have come from around here. I don't think this has been used in quite a while. He will never see those. You know what? Take hey, a... can I talk? No, take Holy a... cow, I hate her. Take a different trail, okay? If you're going to leave marks all along. Just keep going. I will take a different trail. Personality conflict or strategy clash. Mere minutes into this, and mother and son are already at odds. Hey, check this out. And Man Tracker quickly discovers that at least one of his targets isn't worried about leaving sign. These guys left me like five beer. I've got the beer so you can relax, take it easy. Whether it's out of respect or whether it's um, a tactic to try to slow me down, I really enjoy having something left at the start. The prey's start point seems like a no-brainer, but the tracker can't take anything for granted. Hey, Martin. Just take a scud around that grass, see if you see any tracks over there. Okay. Anything? Nothing. I'm gonna head up this trail here. Yeah, well, 
Throw him off the track. I'll just kick this fence post. Okay, I don't know if I want to be with you. No false trails for Max and Barb. They can't even stick to one trail together. Don't follow me. You never leave any trace at all. I'm leaving you already. This is annoying. This is the direction. That's the direction, northwest. You know what? Don't talk to me. You're just going to give away our location. Okay, we'll split up. Okay, see ya. Okay. I was surprised that we separated so early, but it's hard to be patient with somebody who's your mother and you're, you're a grown adult and she still wants to treat you like a kid. That was a quick decision we had to make at that point and it's like, okay, see you later. An unprecedented split, not even an hour into the chase. Wow. While Man Tracker figures out he's on the right trail. Look at that right there. This has been freshly cut. There's the other part laying there. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. It's pretty fresh. He doesn't care if he's leaving a trail or not. Maybe man from that truck will be on his, not mine. Every man for himself. We're gonna chill up there and let him follow my mom. Now that the team is abandoned, Max tries an unorthodox tactic. Circle back and let the riders pass him. High risk, considering Man Tracker's growing body of evidence. We're walking right on that trail. There's a monster toe kick. We've got a pretty good trail in the grass right here. I'll just kick this fence. This is pretty fresh, so we're going to keep going on this trail. I hear horses. Oh, man, it's so nice to be out in the woods by yourself. Without loud, obnoxious kids. Okay, he's coming. something definite to know what it is. Man Tracker's up. With Man Tracker not even a football field away, Max follows behind, either out of curiosity or arrogance. Looking for horse tracks. You just wait here. I'm just going to go up 50 yards and then come in. We'll see what comes up. If he was smart, he'd just sit Wait for me, but he doesn't know I'm behind him, hopefully. That's the horse is right there. I saw him miss. Psychic's wearing a blue, blue Canadian tuxedo. Come here, Tracker! Go, let's go. How you doing? I just heard Martin yell over there. I better go see what he's doing. Probably Max. Oh, just woodpeckers. Martin! Just one all by himself. Yeah? The big guy. Where'd he go? He went straight up the mountain over there. If he keeps yelling like that, you know, it's not going to be much of a chase. Let's go! Well, let's just wander along and follow this moose. Let's go. This is boring. Don't talk to me! Bar, this is the direction. We'll split up. Okay. It's pretty fresh. I hear horses. Every man for himself. How you doing? Tracker! This chase is barely underway, and mother and son have already split up. Max's scheme to track the tracker has backfired. He's staring down capture 40 minutes in, with only the steep cliff to save his pride. 45 minutes into the chase, I'm gonna be the earliest capture ever. <laughs> but I keep trash talking. Come up here! Because if I can get 
under man tracker skin, then I win. I don't want to show that I'm getting mad. I don't want to show that it bugs me. I ain't going to even acknowledge that he's talking to me. I just shut my mouth and bide my time, and we'll see at the finish line who's the cocky one. Although I seem arrogant and cocky, I'm not stupid. There's an axe right underneath my horse. Man, running with this axe is crazy. Think about putting this away. Perfect. Well, I can't do anything with him up there, so I might as well wander on out of here. See if I can find out where she's gone. It's a good thing we're not fighting a war. So be shot. He's been sitting up there for the last 10 minutes talking to me. But I come out with his axe. So I think what we'll do, we'll bug her off, try to get back over to the river. She might be on the river making good time. Can't lose the map. If those guys split up right from the very start, it must be by design, eh? And that also means they've made copies of the map and they've got two compasses. I'm a bit of a ditz, but why we made two copies. <laughs> with Max at bay behind them, the riders head forward to check Barb's whereabouts. Oh, don't tell me I lost that compass. Did I? Oh, I got another one. I got a spare one, that's why I brought two. I guess man track will find it. I have not checked the compass once. Max relies on the river to orienteer to make his first headway since the split with Barb. I'm kind of worried about her, you know. We got Grizzly and Cougar. Oh my God, there's a big bear print. I'm sure that's a bear. Looks pretty shiny and new. You know, they've already lost their axe. It could be her compass. If they've got a plan, it's a, a good one. Uh, oh, I hate these trees. I keep thinking I hear Max, but I think it's just the mosquitoes. Now, if I head to the other side, then maybe he'll be thrown off. I know where there's a shortcut. The spot that I use when the water's high. I got a really good crossing on the creek. Here's what we're going to do. Fill up the water, walk across barefoot. Let's lock and roll. We went to the river to check things out. We wandered around down there for a little while, but didn't see a whole lot. The riders just missed Max at the river, so it's back to trail inspection. For the prey, it's been three hours without any contact. I'm not worried about my mom because and she wanted to do her own thing, so I just, you know, I wasn't worried about her. It's been quite a long time out there by myself. I'm pretty safe, but I just keep checking and I'm going along at a fairly steady pace, you know, feeling good, making time. Whoa. How am I now? This is a logging road. I wouldn't have any place to hide from Man Tracker if he shows up here. There's a tire track, but this is human footprint. There's another smudge of a track right there. Doesn't really show me much, though. I don't think a horse can go in there. I have no clue anymore. We got some pretty distinctive stuff right here. In the heel, there's like three there are four bars that come across. There's no straight lines in nature. She's just walking. Where the f am I? I have no clue where I am. Let's see if I'm going in the right direction. I just need a whole new set of legs. My body was so tired. Well, I hope Max finds this way. I hope we meet up. You get to a point where you just don't care anymore. Just drained, going. If you came around the corner, I'd, I don't know, I might just give up. I don't want to be worried, but I think I should be cautious at this point. The tracks come right up to the bridge. Yeah, I should be a little bit more cautious and going a little bit slower. feeling he's ahead of us rather than behind. If he figures out we are both going in the same direction, these are the two main roads, there's a good chance he's going to be there and meet us too. I don't think he can get in there, but he could probably get through there. I'd probably go this way at this point. 
Okay, Mom. Come up here. I hope Max finds us right. I don't know. We might just give up. It's well into the chase, and from the start, Man Tracker has had to keep tabs on two separate trails. With Max still gone from his mom, Barb's been thrown to the wolves. I'm flushing out. Woohoo, that's a dead end. Man Tracker struggles an airtight push. Sidekick stays put to block Barb from doubling back. I just decided I better get down and just hide because thinking he can't really search the whole area. Did she come out? No. I thought you got her. No, I went in there and she ran that way and I kind of circled to the right. She's got to be hiding in there somewhere because I can't hear a thing. Oh, that was a bit of a scare. Okay, I said the word. That's for sure. Barb is safe for now. We just kind of wander along here. We know she's in there. Just wander down the road to keep her in there. With the riders on road patrol, a reunion with her son seems impossible. Hopefully gonna meet up with my mother, and uh, I'm actually so tired right now I could uh, listen to her. Their only hope, a contingency plan to rally at the point where their two paths converge. Looks like it's pretty easy traveling though. Just trying to keep her off the road. But he's just gonna hang out there and wait for me to come out. So... I think I'll be doing some bushwhacking now. I don't know where my mom is, and I don't know what time it is. I, I'm assuming it's like 4 o'clock. Tony said to me that's 6 at this point, so I'm making good time. Yeah, this could be an interesting scenario because he's only seen me. Does he chase me, or does he try and figure out where the other guy is? Because <laughs> I obviously I don't look like Max. I got to be the old mom. We had to make a decision. They were still split up, so we had to stick with one or the other, and we knew where she was. So we stuck with Mum, knowing that sometime during that day they were going to have to meet up. Rather than start at zero again with Max, Tracker and Sidekick shadow Barb's direction of travel. Their aim? To cut her off when she's sick of bushwhacking. What Man Tracker doesn't know is I could do this all day. Now I have to pay the dues. on. This main road, does it loop right back around? Yes, it does. So she'll probably keep going if she hits that one. She wouldn't come out and make a big loop back. She'd just jump over it and keep going. Eh? Very good possibility. I think we'll stay with our original plan and we'll go right around. I hear something. going to turn off of this and it's going to join up with the road that comes in from the river and if sunny boy is going to come the river way and come up the hill that will be the way he comes oh come on there's got to be a trail here somewhere i must be getting close now we can watch there we can watch there maybe we can uh, be hidden up they won't see us the riders flank the trail stake out and hope bard leads them to her son max is waiting Man tracker holds for what he's been waiting for all day. Don't talk to me. Okay, we'll split up. Okay, see ya. To strike the prey as a unit. I can hear her walking on the ground now. There she is. I'm getting scared. There is my mother. Hey, you know what? I'm actually glad to see you. 
Well, it was good to see my mom because I want to know that she was okay. I was like so glad to see him. It was it was nice because I was starting to wonder if Man Tracker had already busted him. So he's around here. Anyway, he's around here right now. Man Tracker came is he bolting still, is he good right towards to me. In person? I didn't see him. That. He just. You hear him over there whispering. There, we'll get Martin and get the moon out to them guys. Good to see you, right? Yeah, I was out there for hours. Okay, come on. We really needed to let them lead us in their direction of travel before we did anything. So we let them go a half a mile or so. Obviously, he's not been through here. If yeah, anything, so, he's up so there. So he can come from behind? Oh, he's going to come up there. Let's get them down there and shake up their world. 20 years ago? Shit. Probably. Oh, <laughs> How old are you? Oh. Right here. Oh! That thick. Dang, get in there. Mad Tracker! Come in here! Let's see if we can get in a little farther. Maybe we'll be a little more determined this time. Keep going! Where are they, buddy? Where are they? Get them. Where are they going? Barb, let's go. My mother. You go this way. Okay. Don't get more than about 25 yards apart. Okay. Mother and son are having a tough time sticking together. The riders crashed their reunion and forced a wedge between them. If the prey can't rely on each other, they'll have to rely on the bush. Ooh. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we going here? I can't tell the difference between Max coming through the woods or a horse. Let's get out of here. I knew somebody was watching me. You know, the hair was sticking up on the back of my neck, but we could not see them. The psychic was less than 20 feet from me, and if he had a look to the left, he would have saw me. Fortunately, he didn't. I'm coming out. I must have laid down underneath the blowdown or something. Oh, they could hide 12 feet inside there, and you'd never see him. Guy could stomp on him. First time he saw you and me together, and that was smart that we were separated like that. So they met up down here. If they stay on this road. Where's it going to get them to? You can go down here. There's a Y. It goes down to the highway, and then the other Y takes you up to Dallas Lake, takes you way around out into some logging, and you can also get out at Hush Lake. And then there's about three trails from there that go down to Abu Creek. You really didn't narrow my options down much here, did you? Well, we'll take this way. It's a bit of a gamble, but go we'll check it out. Tracker and sidekick, mother and son. Turning point or breaking point? I need some new legs. Not being on the trail is very difficult, and I got 12-inch scratches on my legs. I was being ripped apart by the forest. How are you feeling? I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I could do this all day, but I wouldn't want to. I don't really want to, but I could. This all day you are. Well, let's hang out up here on the hill. Just kind of watch this intersection. If they don't come through here by dark, we'll know they're over there somewhere. Rather than spin their wheels in the bush, the riders try to gain the advantage by gathering recon. Better than risking splitting the prey again. I guess I won't be wearing any skirts for a while. There's the trail again. Shh. You're not freaking see Man Tracker again. 
Barb convinces Max to bushwhack to the lake, turning Mantracker's lookout strategy from ingenious to futile. If we don't come by here in probably the next 10 to 15 minutes, we'll take a wander up that road there. We need to get to the top of the lake, so let's go around. You're going to be exposed if you go down by the lake. I'm not traveling. I just want to get to yeah, the water, okay, okay. and then I can see across the lake. We figured 10 or 15 minutes, and they should be coming out. And they didn't show after about 20. They were already traveling north, and they couldn't go west because the lake was there unless they were to swim it. And I couldn't see them doing that. So we headed on ahead, and we made camp. A late day break for the prey. The horsemen cut out, leaving the prey safe to camp at the lake. Yeah, no, this is really, really nice. Yeah. Hope that, uh, hope it doesn't get too cold when the sun sunsets. Good as spot as any. We think we got the prey kind of pinned up against the lake over here. With a full moon, if they've got the, the wherewithal, they could maybe make an extra mile or so tonight, but I really don't think they're going to do any more traveling. If we can get through this, um, I think we're going to get along a whole lot better because now it's it's necessity for survival. I think we'll gain respect for each other a bit more. We're going to get through this and we're going to make we're going to beat Man Tracker. Well, we want to want to keep the horses close. We don't want to have the wolves come in or anything like that. Camp wasn't going to be much of a picnic, you know, a fire ban so there's no fire. You know, there's wolves and bears and cougars and everything in the area and fire typically controls a lot of those things. They smell the smoke and they don't come around and we didn't have that luxury. The fire ban means a long night for both sides, but new light means a new start. The trackers aim for the last point of detection. The prey need to make ground fast. You know we last saw him down there, eh? We have no idea where Man Tracker has slept. We don't know how close he is, so starting off the second day, we're both nervous. We've got to cover some distance today, so that's why we're taking the road. Day one, I was ready to give up. I don't know what happened the second day, but when I woke up, I wanted to win. Yeah, we got tracked right there. But that's that shows up so well. The rest of the footprint is very nondescript, very kind of boring, but that shows up really well. You can track that at a slow low print in there. Just perfect for us. That's a trail. That's a trail heading north. He's gonna see that we were walking here and where'd we go? Who cares? Duh. Who cares? Is the trail run right along the side of the road? Yes. Yes. And then you're gonna have to cross over. Okay. Just okay. Relax. That's okay. Okay. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay. It's gonna take us longer though. Relax. It'd be alright if I stayed to the road all day. It's pretty easy tracking. They're not making any attempt to hide their tracks at all. The riders are glued to the prey's trail, but Max has an idea to slow them down. I want to bring a branch out so that he can't come barely through. That's it. Yeah, but at least he can come all the way past us. That's so stupid. Max is just walking behind me, telling me to keep going, keep going, and he's grabbing branches, exerting tons of energy. But then he explained that, you know, like the last three times that Man Tracker came up onto us, he came up from behind galloping. And I'm like, you know what? That at least he can't come galloping from behind. I don't have any tracks here now. Oh, oh. Well, there's a trail right there. That's the logical place for him to go, isn't it? You know, I wasn't even sure we were on the right trail. Losing, losing tracks and all. All these sticks stuck up like this. The lamest attempt ever made to uh, slow us down. You're the stupidest man alive because you're giving me a great big neon light saying come this way because this is where I went. Why doesn't he just give us a map and tell us where he is? Max, I hear horses. I need 
some new legs. Yeah, we got tracks right there. That's a trail. Day two of the chase is underway, and Max is making it easy for the trackers. His branch blockades are no obstacle, and Barb is getting fed up with her son's recklessness. I think I hear something too. Can you do me a favor? Just don't break anymore and make okay, noise. Just do it quietly. Okay, I won't okay. break anymore. There was nothing there to leave tracks, but he's leaving these signposts every 25 yards, which was perfect. You know, we could wander down there, and every time we come to a dead stick hanging in a tree, we knew it was them because somebody had to put it there. He had already come as a complete surprise and come galloping up. So I thought at least that from the rear, he would be slowed down. Looks like that way is north. So you want to go which way? I think it's like keep on the trail. I don't store There's no trail, there. Barb. Max, this way is north. OK, well, have fun uh, getting scratched up in the bushes. I'm going to take the trail right there's here. There's a trail here, too. No, there's not. There is. No, there's not. There's tons of trails through here. OK, let's okay, go on I'll the tell leader. You what, let's go. Meet me. Max, you're going the wrong way. Well, keep an earshot, because I'm going this way. I'll call you if I see a bear. Well, get out your own compass and map then. They're gonna hear us coming. I'm sure I heard horse hoofs. Max! What's up? What? Do you hear horse hoofs? Yes, I heard horses, six of them. Don't crack branches and go quiet. All right. A few, uh, a few memories. Mm, this baby. This baby, this long. That's my favorite one right there. And then we got a couple over here. Unfortunately, I wore shorts. Wear pants. If you come on the show, wear pants. Fortunately for Max and his mom, the agonizing bush is putting serious stress on the horses. Ain't much of a trail. He's getting a little grumpy. When I say wool, I have to mean wool. We were fighting our way through this stuff, and the yeah, I don't know how the horse was following the trail because I was fighting my way trying to keep all the blood on my face. Oh, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's like an old trail was there and blazed at one time, but all the little suckers and stuff have come up and just <laughs> turned it into a real little rat's nest. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere here. Can't go back. Got to keep going. Are you going east or are you coming? Not so bad. We can just get out of this soon. Is it getting better down there? Yep. Okay. He just says that. You're just saying that because you want me to follow me. I think I got a human footprint up here. I think I finally got a trap. That's an actual person stepped there not that long ago. Look how green that grass is. It stomped into that track. See, it's got dirt on it, but it hasn't even got bruised yet. I think you found the needle in the haystack. As Tracker finds his confirmation, the prey finally find relief. The bush torture is over. So good? Yeah. But their second guessing each other continues. Look for horse hooves. If we see any go either way, we know he's looked for us on this road. I'm talking. I'm sure glad to be out of that stuff. That's for sure. Those guys go back into something like that, I'd leave them. There's something up there. Uh, he's there. He's right there at the corner. I'd like to get him out of sight, and then we'd run up on him. Yeah, no, he's uh, just waiting to see if we uh, don't know he's there. Then let's go in there. Keep going. Keep going. Just keep going. Max knows. As soon as he moves, the chase is on. See the other little flash of white down there. actually think he's seeing things. Max! Is there two or one up there? Is there one ahead of me? Just keep going. As soon as they get around the corner up there, we're gonna go for it. Go, 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 go! Let's go then. Let's go. Let's go. So good? 
Yeah, that's an actual person stepped there not that long ago. There's something up there. You see me? Go, go, go! Max and Barb made sure to drag Man Tracker through the bush. Back on the trail, Max spots the horses in time for a frenzied escape. The only problem is, amidst the confusion, he split again from his mom. I just saw a backpack moving in the trees here. We'll go for a little wander through the bush. I was out of water, so there was really no point in carrying my backpack. I just had a small section of the map and my compass. I take off my boots and my Mother and son think alike. Barb switches footwear and lightens her load. It's all or nothing with six kilometers to the finish. He's like a baby gorilla going through there. Did you hear over there, horse? We knew they had to be close, but we didn't know where. They could have been a half a mile away. They could have been 10 feet from us. We had no way of knowing because it's just so thick in there. They were like moles underneath a log. We just couldn't find them. I don't know what that's to do about her. If they're split up again and this is him, where the hell is she at? Maybe she's on the other side of the road. We'll go down the road half a K or so and find a spot on both sides where we can sit and listen to what's going on. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I have no idea where Max is. We're in the fucking jungle. If Man Tracker has captured him, I don't know really anything. If I have to, I've, I've made it three times diving in the bush and hiding out. So that's my plan, is just keep a lookout where I could go. She's right there, She's walking down the road. Come on, buddy. on top of me and I just screamed I didn't know he's right there it was so close he was he was right there oh that works scared the out of me sorry about that horsey when a big animal gets really close you normally get out of the way you know self-preservation has to take effect in there somewhere and there's the lady prey one down the chase is over for Barb but Max can still win it for the family the team still has a chance to make it, so I'm open for the best. Well, we got one of them hiding in the bush down back there like a rabbit. Let's go back here a ways and go in and see if we can hear him or not. Man Tracker's stake out turns up nothing, and signs point to the finish being close. When Tracker caught Mum, she didn't have her backpack on. And I figured we were awfully close to the finish. The direction that he was traveling was straight for the creek. Maybe that was the finish. If he got there before we did, we had no chance of stopping him. Is this that little creek? Yep. He'd be coming down from this right here. Oh man, so tired. The trackers feel the pressure, guarding what they think is the finish. Max, headed to the true destination, finally refuels. Tastes like life. 
Keep the weight down by the creek. Make sure he doesn't get by you. If you see him and he's close, let out a holler. Wait till you see the whites of his eyes, though. You can hear him. Sound like rocks rolling. We're out of daylight. another 50 yards. You guys want to call it a draw? Let's go. He's coming to you, Martin. Time to hang up your sneakers, buddy. I get to rest. It's frustrating to know that you did everything you could, but you still got caught. I never quit on myself. They beat me, and there's there's nothing wrong with that. Is he an animal or is he a man? You know, he turned out to be a man. Him being as big and as bulky as he was, he did way better than I thought he would. So I got a lot of respect for him and his mom. Doing this chase with Max was quite the experience. I think we gained respect for each other. I mean, I think he did awesome. It's one of the most intense experiences of my life. You really can't prepare for it until you're being chased by horses. Oh, go, 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 go! Getting ripped apart by the forest memories it's an intense experience she's one of the toughest senior citizens i know i would do it again if they'd let us <laughs> or even give me another partner i'd do it again i would never do this again <laughs> i wouldn't do this ever again Interesting!